Well, we had a group of guys. We were riding horses just to learn how to ride. We had no intention of being stuntmen at that time. We were just bringing forth some history about the Buffalo Soldiers. They would go around to schools and do fight scenes and talk to kids and ride in parades and that kind of thing. And with the fight scenes and things that we would do, kind of set us up for doing stunts. Eddie Smith was the founder of the Black Stuntmen's Association. Now, Eddie Smith had talked to Stanley Kramer on a movie called It's a Mad, Mad World, when they had a white guy painted down to double Rochester driving a taxi. And he said, why don't you use a black stunt man? And he said, bring me one. The white stunt group would not let us in. We had to be 150% better than the white guys. We showed we had the expertise. After we, you know, came proficient, we began to attack the studios and say, well, look, we got guys that's, that's capable of doing these kind of things. Well, the fight began. Anytime we call on Bill Cosby for something to represent us or say anything, Bill was right there. He still supported. Harry and Sidney bent over backwards to do everything that they could to make sure that we were there in the first place. You can go out here today and ask who is the BSA. 99% of the population do not know. We accomplished a hell of a lot because we fought back. And I don't think that the studio would ever forget what we did. And I think it's time for the public and the world to know who we are and what we did. Lord of mercy, look at that.